Hey everybody, and welcome to an edition of What Makes Indie Films Great. We're here at the famous Rainbow Road Bar in Ripon, West Virginia, and we're speaking to today Mr. Matt Anderson. He's a filmmaker in the area. So tell me, Matt, what makes a film great to you? Well, for me, it always comes down to the writing. Um, and I'm a writer, so of course I'm going to say that answer. Uh, the thing is, uh, I mean, you can have all the other elements. Uh, acting's got to be good, uh, lighting, of course, sound, framing, composition, all those things are very important. Uh, but if you, you can have the most best, greatest looking film ever made and the writing just completely just makes you like, I don't care. I, I have no interest in it. So for me, it's always about the writing and then the other things kind of, you can forgive some of the other things, um, other than sound. You can't forgive bad sound, mm -hmm. but uh, without the writing, you might as well just not take the time. Unless you're doing experimental, where you it's all free form and ad lib and all that, then you know, go hey, go for it. But if like you're gonna our, write it like down, our episode write down today, story. it's all free form. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're going off the cuff on this one. So, what, in your opinion, this is a tough question for a lot of filmmakers out there. What is your favorite movie? Oh, uh, Snatch by Guy Ritchie. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, what to you makes that movie so great? Uh, because it is everything. Um, it's shot very stylistically. It takes so many different plot threads and weaves them all together in a way that actually feels like it could actually happen. Um, it also, you know, the acting is fantastic. The musical score is top notch. The lighting, the sound, all that stuff. But uh, just from any aspect that you look at it, it is really, for me, one of the best films because it just takes a, a clever script, great dialogue, interesting characters, uh, solid story, a bunch of different stories weaved together, sound, audio, visuals, just all of it. It's just like the perfect package. All right. So in your process of filmmaking, from start to finish of a project, and we're considering short films and full-length films, what's your average length of time from start to finish on a short film, and then what's your average start to finish time on a full-length film? Okay, uh, for short films, um, my first short film, the very first one I ever did, which was the very first thing I ever did, took almost four days. Um, I now have, from the last couple short films that I've done, one day. Uh, if everybody comes in, they're on point, we got everything set up, ready to go, boom. Uh, you can get it done in one day. You know, a short film by its nature should be short. Now, most, on average, I believe it's about 48 hours. You know, they have the 48 hour film festivals, but for those, there's usually, you have to write it, film, you know, cast it, film it all in that 48 hours. Uh, so, for short films, it's usually a day for me, depending on it. Uh, my next film, um, One Last Toast, is plan for a day, but I've got an extra day built in just in case we don't get to everything the day before. For a feature length film, if you're just talking from, uh, how far back are you talking from conception to completion or just? I'd say once you have a script written mm -hmm. and you're ready to go, you hand out the scripts or what you have of the scripts. In my case, I handed out partial scripts and right. finished it as we go because of the logistics of things, but that's a whole nother blog in itself, but uh, from, so you handle your scripts, you're ready to go from start to finish, you're talking how long do you, do you plan? Uh, well, usually I'd like, to, usually most filming dates, about 10 filming days yeah. for for one of, for a feature film. Um, you know, obviously I would like more, but since, you know, I'm having to try to work with it, and budget is 100% the driving factor right. on that one. The fewer days I film, the less I have to yeah. spend. Um, you know, and I make sure that the actors get paid first, and then the cinematographer, and then anybody else who's there for, you know, pay, you know. I've got a great sound guy, his name's Andrew Stainer. He has been with me from the, as far back as he can, I can remember. He has been extremely helpful, and he's been doing it, just helping us out as much as he can. Um, you know, so, you know, I try to make sure that I get my cast and crew paid first. I don't make any money on this. 
Um, you know, I'm the writer, I'm the director, producer. I don't make a, a dime on any of it. All of it goes into the production. Uh, so 10 days is usually my my planned out time. Um, and that's usually with two extra days thrown in. So Makes sense. So, most memorable moment on set. <laughs> or is see, there that's a tough question. <laughs> that's the tough question. Not the favorite movie question. Yeah. Um, memorable moments on set. I mean, gosh, there are so many. Is, of them. Or a standout moment or a funny moment or something that was that shocked you or whatever. You know, uh, well, I could, I mean, there's one that, that always comes to mind is when we were filming Serious Profession, we were filming outdoors in a car with green screen and the wind just came oh. along and just knocked <laughs> everything. Uh. Uh, just all, I mean, just all the green screens, everything just started falling in the falling all over the camera almost got there I mean yeah there's actually uh, on our YouTube channel there's actually that incident where you hear and and you hear me catching the camera and the guy and the actors like good catch my man uh, because that yeah everything just went up so for for me that's the one that stands out the most um, and the other time was when we were filming Anna Key um, I'm getting ready to do the, you know, do the uh, clapper, and you know, you know, camera rolling, sound, speed, yeah. I perp, <laughs> and right in the middle of it, and everyone just starts no. laughing. We have to like, we, we keep filming, but for like two minutes, everyone's just like laughing hysterically, and then, I, then we got acting. It's been there. I've been there a hundred times. I yes. Say it, so, so uh, to wrap it up here, you. Uh, this is your shameless plug time, so name your projects, where you can find them, any websites related or whatever. Just sure. spit out all the info you can. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, well, uh, right now my current project is One Last Toast. It's a short film. We're in the middle of casting for that. Um, casting ends on August uh, 20th, so I don't know if this will be out before then. So if not, you missed it. Sorry, folks. Uh, uh, I'm currently in post-production on Serious Profession and Anna Key. Uh, Serious Profession took a little longer because we had some uh, logistical and personnel issues, but we finally got it down. We're in the final sound, editing sound music. Those will come out. Hopefully Serious Profession and Anna Key will come out at the end of the year, maybe pushed out a little bit to the beginning of the year. We have Heavy Duty Man, which is part of our Senna Photo line. That is being produced right now. Uh, that's also in post production. We have a Resident Evil documentary about George Romero's aborted Resident Evil movie. That's also in post production. Uh, our website is www.key13film.com, uh, and from there you can link every. You, you can get to everything else. Our Facebook pages, our YouTube channel, our Instagram, all that stuff is all linked right there. And your TikToks, right? I only got a we couple. We got to see some dancing on. The I got a couple, and now <laughs> nobody wants to see see me on TikTok. Trust me. Uh, well, that about wraps it for us. Thank you very much for watching this, and stay tuned for this man's work here. Like I say, follow that website, follow him on his socials, and see what he's up to lately. Check it out, and you know what? That's what makes indie films great. <laughs>